As high school football teams advance in the playoffs, we are hearing all sorts of great storylines. For example, a set of brothers both coaching high school playoff teams. WFMY News News' Jalen Gilkey met the Brown brothers ahead of round two of the postseason. Ever since they can remember, sports have been a big part of Daryl and Calvin Brown's life. Uh, very competitive. We got another brother that's a year younger than me. So there's three of us, and um, Calvin obviously was the youngest. Um, he's eight years younger than me, so he kind of got beat up on a little bit. I got to spend a lot of time watching them play high school sports, um, and, and getting to kind of learn from them and different things. And um, as I moved into high school, I actually um, I played for Daryl. Daryl's an assistant coach at Southern Guilford. Not only is Southern Guilford special to the Brown brothers because it's their alma mater, but the football field there is named after their grandfather, C.K. Siler. The knowledge that he could give us and help us out growing up, um, that was huge for us. Um, and then as I got older and figured out that this was kind of the career path that we wanted to take, um, you start thinking about just uh, the legacy he had, the, the impact he had on a lot of people in our community. It's the relationships that he built with his athletes, his um, students, uh, coaching staffs, you know, those are the things that um, I think you kind of take away from what he was able to do. Not so much the X's and O's and stuff of that nature, but just how he went about and what you hear people say about him. Both coached together at Southern Guilford, and now they're leading the charge as head coaches at two triad high schools. Daryl Brown brought a state championship to Grimsley in the spring 2021 season, the Worley's first state title since 1960, while Calvin Brown looks to chase a championship at Providence Grove. You just keep kind of building, laying the foundation, and that's what they've done this year um, by winning a playoff game and moving on to the second round. I mean, you've got to start somewhere and just continue to build. Daryl Brown and the Worldlies continue their quest for a second state championship tomorrow against Charlotte Catholic. And a fun fact for you about Calvin's Providence Grove team, the middle brother, Eric, is actually an assistant coach for the Patriots. So all three even coach together at years at Southern Guilford. Wow, and I love that, that the stadium is named after Grandpa. Grandfather, Grandpa, yeah. is that right? So wow. that's their mom's dad. That's incredible. Yeah, that's yeah. All, they come from a long line of coaches. This is what they do, it's in their blood, and they're keeping it going and uh, excelling at what they're doing. Peyton and Eli Jr. That's what they're Something trying similar. to be. I, mean, yeah. I, I bet you they wish they could throw it like I'll that. I bet they do too. They had a couple paychecks like that. Wouldn't there be bad go. either. And maybe you're wondering at home whether they actually play each other. I asked um, Jalen. He said they're in different classes, yeah. so they don't. They won't play each other. They won't play each other. Um, but I do know that the Providence Grove uh, and Calvin and Providence Grove. They've been on a great tear ever since he's been there. Uh, they he introduced the school to their first winning season oh, this wow. week. Last week they won their first ever playoff game in school history, so they're on the up and up <laughs> down in Providence Grove. In the family. Yeah, man. it's just what they do. That's, That's right. great. Very cool.